Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this ASU online English composition course. My name is Professor Amy Wardley and I'm going to be your guide through this uh, next couple weeks as we tackle the composition assignments uh, in projects one and two and work through the different scaffolding and building activities and hone our writing skills. I'm looking forward to getting to know each and every one of you through your writing process and through our discussion boards. So do make sure to stay up to date with assignments uh, so that I can help you in real time improve those skills and get your very best possible scores on the projects. I want to take a moment now to look at our syllabus. Of course, you've already read through this very carefully. You've signed the syllabus agreement statement and submitted that through the gradebook. Uh, but there are a couple things I just want to call our attention to to make sure that we're all on the same page and we're feeling confident about our ability to be successful in this course. So if you click on the syllabus link, you're going to see that there's a lot of helpful information in terms of what this class entails, your course learning outcomes, uh, the different habits of mind and uh, writing program uh, issues that we want to be able to discuss. Uh, there's also access to your books here, uh, your grading scale, which of course all of us are deeply interested in because we want to get our very best possible scores here. Uh, what I do want to call our attention to particularly in the syllabus is this late or missed assignments category. Uh, a lot of students um, seem to struggle sometimes with getting work in on time, which is understandable, especially in the current situation we're in with a uh, worldwide pandemic with the different issues that we're all having to confront uh, as we try and grow as a nation and try and figure out who we are. So I want to um, encourage us to continue to submit work on time. This is a very fast paced course. We only have a couple weeks to get all this work done, particularly in summer. It's just so fast. So I want to encourage you to use your time wisely and well. A lot of academic research suggests that the two things that make for successful students are not IQ, they're not your past writing experience, they're not previous grades, transcripts, or testing. What predicts successful students, according to this research, is two things. The ability to network uh, with your peers, which is something we're going to try and help you with with the discussion boards here. And the second thing is the ability to manage your time well. And that is absolutely essential in this online class, the ability to manage your time wisely and well. So late and missed work uh, is possible, but missing assignments or turning them in late does have some consequences in terms of the gradebook. And because the class is so fast paced, once you fall behind, it's very difficult to catch up. So now at the onset of the class, at the very beginning, when we're all optimistic and wearing our rose colored glasses, Let's set out a plan to be successful, to manage our time well, so we don't even have to deal with these late assignments. But if something does come up, if something must be submitted late, please send me an email so that we can communicate about it. So if you need additional support, if you need some help or clarification, I'm here to help you, and so is our writing mentor. So please reach out before the deadline if you need help. Of course, if you're reaching out before the deadline, please give us 24 to 48 hours to respond to your email. Uh, if you message us at 11.30 p.m. and the assignment is due at midnight that night, we probably are not going to have time to respond and help you out. In fact, I have a two-year-old and a six-month-old, uh, and so I go to bed around 9 now because the children wake up at 5 a.m., so I'm not reading your late-night emails until the next morning. So uh, do make sure to plan ahead enough that you can give us at least 24 hours to help you out with an assignment. Uh, if something is going to be late, do check out this policy, revised drafts of project one and two, and the major assignments like the pre-course reflection, the mid-course uh, reflection, all that stuff um, can be submitted up to 24 hours late, but gets capped at a score of two. If the assignment is submitted 48 hours, it gets capped at a one, and if it's past 72 hours, it's not going to earn any points. I'll still give you feedback, but it's going to be a zero in the gradebook. Those are just for major assignments. Any other assignments, any of your uh, building, we call it scaffolding work, assignments uh, like discussion boards, um, observation notes, that kind of stuff, uh, anything that comes in 24 hours past the deadline is going to get a score of one. Capped, that's the highest score you can get. That's all your invention assignments, revision, discussion boards, rough drafts, etc. Anything after 24 hours, automatic zero. 
but you do get feedback. So plan ahead. If you're struggling, please reach out for help so that you don't turn in stuff late. And you do need to make sure uh, when you're completing digital portfolio stuff in Digication that not only are you completing it in Digication, but that you're publishing the link, you're making it so that I can see it, and then you're submitting that link through Canvas so that I can score your work and give you feedback there as well. So do make sure to check out uh, that late or missed assignments policy. It is very important. Uh, communicating with the instructor, this is great to uh, just chat about real quickly. If you want to get in touch with the instructor, you do need to use your ASU official email address. That's the only one we're allowed to respond to. So please, please, please use that one because otherwise if you use something other than your ASU one, I have to send you back um, just a standard reply that says, please talk to me from your ASU Gmail account. So it's an extra step. It's an extra email and it just delays the time that it takes to get the help you need. So just use your ASU one. Um, this policy says you can expect a response from your writing mentor and from your instructor within 72 hours. I will try and respond as quickly as I can. I do try and check my email at least once a day, uh, but we do have up to 72 hours to get back to you. So keep that in mind as you're reaching out for help. Um, and we have a lot of accommodation policies, so check those out. Uh, student conduct, we wanna be respectful and kind. We want to establish a safe environment here. And then our course summary, this will list everything that we're working through. It looks like a lot. Uh, it is a lot. It is a lot of work. But I'm confident that you'll be able to be successful in this. And I'm looking forward to helping you find that success. So take some time to read through your uh, syllabus. Reach out with any questions. Uh, and then get started on your icebreaker discussion boards. I'm looking forward to getting to know you guys in that forum. Our writing mentor will be jumping into those discussions as well, so you'll get to know her also through that medium. And know that we're here to support you on your academic journey. I'm looking forward to getting to know each of you. Have a great day, enjoy the class, and stay safe and healthy out there.